Yeah. So we've got Finley's sweatshirt on. Okay, so let's just start with, so keep both feet down again, see how this feels, Alex. We're just going to mobilise. And two. And three. And four. Four the other way. I bet you were laughing, Alex, when I sent you that video of me sat in a chair doing a, a broken ankle doesn't stop you from working out and then the other way and then again just circle one two three four then for the other side four three two and one well done and then again, you might just want to do your arm action. So anyone out there with a dodgy, swollen ankle, you might not be able to come up. And uh, so just see how it feels sweet. Just do your arms if not. And three. And four. It's supposed to be getting colder as well this week. And three, better than rain though, isn't it? Two. And one, well done. And then nice parallel, shoulders down, nice close position squat. Take that bum to wall, nice and low. For two, keep the core tight. For three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll do more floor work today. Eight. Do eight more for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, three, two, and one. Well done. And then just second position, shoulders down. And again, lead into the heel as we go down. For two, for three, for four, for five. Jane's just been this morning, Alice, showing me her bad Babel's hotel. I was very jealous. And again, white sands, turquoise seas. And six more, let's go. Six, for five, for four, for three. Two and four. One. Well done. Let's just warm up the shoulder just before we'll do some quite a few weights today, I think. So yeah, it's just if you don't want to do the leg action, babe, just do your arm action. And I always say when you're injured, don't worry about what the bit you can't do, just think about what you can do. So pick up two weights, whatever size you feel like. Um, I'm going to use a three, I think, today. So we're going to do one at a time to start with. So choose your um, choose your strong arm first. You might not have a strong arm. So let's take the leg to one side, draw the tummy down, tummy, draw the shoulders down, draw the tummy in, and lift. Nice and slow. I want you to really think about length through the crown of the head. Sometimes when you're injured, it's quite nice to kind of think, right, okay, I'll focus on the technique when you can't use your feet quite as well as you normally can. And for four, nice and slow. And for three, good. And for two, and for one, bring the foot back together and then just try and keep your shoulders still quite wide, so collarbones quite wide and just take it up for one, nice and slow, two, three, so using different muscle groups, using a little bit more of the pecs today at the front, here you'll feel them if you put your hands on them, you'll feel them working. And three, two, and one. So we're going to keep with that same arm, this time working more through the back. So lengthening through your pecs now. So what I want you to do is try and lift your arms super high, chin to 
towards the chest and then just lift. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eight more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well done. Back down to centre. I'll give a little bit more now. And then go to the other side. We do this. I can't remember what we did. We do that. That's what we did. Thank you. And lift. Did we do bicep as well? I thought we did. Two, three, four, four, three. It's very easy to kind of do this in it if you don't think about it. Two, one, down and down. Now one. So lunge through the crown of the head. Three. We really want to support that shoulder joint in every action we can. Four, three, two, and one. And then back into chariot, shoulders down, lift. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eight more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well done. Yeah, we did do that. And then pick both up. So again, take it into first position. I'm going to try and oh, break the cold. I'm a little bit warmer now. Just mess around with anybody else that annoy you. You know when your legging turns in and it goes in a funny direction. Anyway, keep the chin, keep the ribs down, in and down. Shoulder blades almost like pulling together. Lend through that um, chest area. Elbows glued in, don't let the elbows come out for one. If you want to work your legs as well, you can take it out, slowly in with control. Out, slowly in. And three. And four. Keep the ribs together. And again for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Well done. Take one foot forward. Keep the shoulder blades down. Lift for ten. Lift for nine. Lift for eight. Keep going, guys. I'm just checking. I've turned my tomatoes and red peppers off. <laughs> oh, it's a good job I did. I have a bit red pepper and tomato soup. And then the other side. And we I thought, I'm not sure if I've turned the oven off and I had them. And three, I did that last week and I burnt all my vegetables. And again, for eight, for seven, the easiest soup to make. Tomatoes, red pepper, an onion, a little bit of balsamic. Throw it in the oven, bit of thyme, whiz it up. Nutritious lunch for you. Two. And one, well done, good work. So now we're just going to go back into So if you want to use your legs, you can. If you don't, then just keep feet on the ground. Or if you can, down and then fold. Good. And three. And four. Four more. Four. Oh, it's the card in this girl. I was going to say hello to Liz about being able to make classes. She's working so hard. Hi, Liz. And, and one. Well done. Beautiful. Okay, let's take it into that lunge again. Alex, this might be too much. Sit on your bad ankle at the back, I would imagine. Take the weight slightly forward, guys, into that deep lunge position. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
lead. Let's do eight more. Got eight. Now I have a rest day on a Sunday, but I went to the gym yesterday. I started doing a class for a gym and they give me free membership, so it's quite nice. Three. I really need to get a new hobby. Two. And one. Problem is, I was running on the treadmill, I was so hungry, I basically just did it all day. And again. <laughs> and two. Get his strap springs round the corner, guys. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Having said that, I think we're having snow flurries this, um, yeah, this weekend. Shoulders down. Try to always keep that length through the chest. Take it down. Not easy these ones. One to all. Three. Well done, back into that lunge position, back leg nice and low, and as we take the, again you can just do arms if you want, take the heel away at the same time as you go up, for two, for three, for four, for four, for three, for two, and I'm going to apologise if I rush off guys, dead on quarter two, I've got to take the dog out before. My hairdresser comes at one, and lift, and two, and three, and four, and four, Woo. and three, and two, and one. Well done, nearly there with the old weights, just give yourself a couple of little circles. Circle back. Good, so we're just going to do one more and then we're going to come onto the floor. So in, out, in, keep the ribs, push the ribs down. Three, four, four. I shared a dessert with my mum last yesterday for lunch. Oh my God, it was the sweetest thing ever. I've got to burn that waffle and sweet caramelised butterscotch off. <laughs> Now 
And before we move to the other side, keep your shoulders down, take your bum back, your weight forward, chin to chest, and gently down to the floor, or as far as you can get, don't force it. Take a breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one, breath in. And gently up. Oh, the best part about doing weights is doing this after. And then take the other leg in front. So let's keep that flexibility working. Oh, thanks, Janet. I'm just going to do the wrong one then. <laughs> take it over. And again, really stretching out. Take a breath in. And out. In. can always go over a little bit in this one if you want it to go a little bit more into the rounding of the thoracic spine. And then gently back to centre. This hand, just take it behind the back. Yeah, pull the shoulder blades back up. It's really important we keep this length. And then just gently down, take a breath in. And out. And out. Last one. And gently up. Just take a couple of little shrugs. And then that deltoid stretch out just across. Take a breath in. Last one. Back to centre. Soften the front knee. Take the bum to wall. The weight forwards almost like you are falling over. One of the most important stretches this guy. Certainly I've been doing this now for a long time. But probably more recently than I've ever done. And knees are great. So if the IT band gets too tight, you can pull that knee out of alignment. So take a breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. And gently out through the mouth as we come back up to our centre position. Oh. Beautiful. Well done. Let's come down to the floor. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to move my mat a little bit, guys, just so I can lay sideways off. Okie doke. Double mat. Gorgeous. So let's go straight into side leg. Sorry, Alex. Probably did a bit more room standing than I wanted then. Let me know how it felt sweet. So let's come into, I want you to really find that gap underneath your waist today. This top's a bit baggy. But Blue, really nice gap underneath that waist. Lengthen that top leg. Imagine I am pulling your foot long. Really important glute strength to lower back health. Keep the waist lifted. Keep the core engaged. Point the foot. Take it forward. Don't let the hips rock. Bring it back a little bit back of the midline and drop it and lift it. Point the foot. Forward, this will be good actually, Alex. Just you might not be able to do that full flexion though, and then drop and lift. So point forward, flex, drop and lift. Point forward, flex, drop and lift. One more point forward, flex, drop, and lift. Three more. Two more. And one. Keep it there. Keep it flexed for a 
chin, so working through more through the quads, drop for 10, drop for 9, for 8, for 7, for 6, not a great angle this, I think I'm a bit darker, again I just pushed, oh, I don't know, 3, 2, 1, it's good on the YouTube, and then point it and do the same, 10, 9, keep the waist lifted, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Thank you, lucky stars. I've already done that twice today. Pull the heel into bum. Take a breath in. Yeah, one of these, Alex, I'm not sure which one you've got, babe. One of them you won't be able to do on the floor with the foot. And let's do a little bit of inner thigh. So let's go into devil pay. So if you point, so we'll do devil pay first and then we'll lift that bottom leg. So what I want you to do is slightly externally rotate the top hip, not the shoulder. And then just bring that big toe into the knee. Take the leg up and lengthen it. Try and keep that waist lifted. Bring it in. Channel your inner Darcy Blusser. Is it bustle or bushel? I don't know. And again, for four. Four more. For four. Three more. Three. Two. One. And then bring it back up to the knee and just kick it for ten. I've got cramp in my toes. Ten. Nine. I told you we were cold today. Eight. Make sure that top hip's facing forward, guys, and it's not decided to roll backwards. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Just take a little stretch. Bend your toes if you need to. I just need to bend them with my toes. Just pull it in. Pull the thigh backwards. <laughs> I always found when I had that broken ankle, Alex, or anything to do with sprains, anything to do with ankle, side legs are always quite a good option. So take that top leg and then just lift the top leg. And then what I want you to do, I've got four mats underneath me, so my hip feels quite nice. But if it's a bit bony underneath the hip, guys, just put a towel or something there. And lift for two. You need, to, I always find these ones that I don't, you're going to feel the top leg because we've just worked it, but it's really working the inner thigh of the bottom leg. You have to do quite a lot to feel it, but you will probably feel it in the morning. And keep going. For 10, for 9, for 8, for 7, for 6. You might feel it a bit under in the waist as well. Four, three, two. You can either do ten more of those, or if this doesn't bother you, lift. They're not easy, these. Two. I always feel it more in my waist. Three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Come on to your back and the leg that you've just been lifting. Just give it a little stretch over. Oh, particularly if you did the double torpedo. Take a breath in, let the belly rise. And a breath. And again. Last one. Beautiful. Back to centre then. Just keep the leg you've just been lifting in tabletop. Use the same hand into that lovely inner thigh pushing in towards the opposite shoulder. Lift up and then just pull the leg inwards. So you're kind of pushing on the lateral side of the uh, leg. You can take that other hand away and just bring it all the way down. Whoa. And again, just really rest into it. Deep, lovely breaths. Lovely. 
lovely. Back to centre. Just tip that foot and just place it into the inner thigh of the other knee just to give the ground kind of area a little bit of a rub, opening up through that hip. And just in case I forget, we'll do the other leg now and then we'll do abdominals later. So get over onto the other side, however that might be, whether it's a room up and then back. Otherwise, my grey matter might forget what we've done. I'm already thinking, hmm, what did we do? Okay, so I think we did this one. Lifting up the bottom waist and feel, I don't know if you can see on me, I've got black on black. But there's a gap underneath the waist that I don't want you to drop. So I always talk about length of the leg. You can lift it higher as long as the waist doesn't drop when you do. Yep. So let's just keep, so we're going to do the forward one first. So point the foot. We're going to take it forward. I don't know where to look. I don't know where to look at my zoom camera. And two. Point forward. Three. Four. So, yes, yeah, sorry guys. I've been experimenting a bit today with the room, so I don't think the visual is probably as good for you on zoom. I don't know where the other way. I'm not sure. You might tell me the thing. Four. Three. I know I forgot to do something, haven't I? Two. One, I forgot to drop it. So come to here, flex the foot, drop, lift. So we'll do 20 of these because we did it single one, three, four, five. I'm not getting carried away. Six, doesn't matter if we do slightly different. Seven, eight, keep that waist lifted. Nine, and ten. Bring it to the midline. Let's circle this time. Doing similar things. Two, Three, four, five, circle back, five, four, three, two, one, then pulse, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, just have a little wee rest, just pull it back. If you can't grab your foot because of your ankle, just let the leg come further back than the other one. So you kind of kind of get a bit of a stretch. And then let's straighten both legs. So again, try not to let that hips do that. So if you just anchor, so hips are stacked, knees are stacked, ankles are stacked, then slightly externally rotate the top hip. Bring the foot, so the big toe, lengthen and do you know when on the treadmill first time in oh god months and months and months did three miles yesterday which is not a lot but I, yeah and I thought I'd be able to walk today and I'm really chuffed my legs feel all right and again one more we'll be discussing this morning now I need another hobby I think I might take up I don't know craft or something three two and one and then bring it in someone would tell me about a candle making workshop in headingly somewhere that'd be nice i might do that three four janet's going and when are you going to find time for that job and five <laughs> four three two not easy these one well done just take another little stretch before we do those inner thigh ones I'm hoping when I'm rambling on at you guys, it's luring you on and you're not thinking, shut up, Jack. And then hold the top leg, draw the tummy in, lift, lower, lift for two, lift for three, lift for four. Just see how stable do you feel? You might need to take that hand back down to the floor, or do you feel like your pelvis is really, really strong? So drawing the tummy in, eight, seven, Six, five, four. Matt is busy today. She's got dentist in sight with us. I'll see you tonight. But if you're watching later, Matt, bye. And then lower, lift for ten. I'll just do the underneath ones. Nine, eight. Keep that core tight. Seven. Not easy on the waist. These six, five, four, three, two. And one, well done, come on to your back and again just give yourself a nice supine spine stretch. Oh, you need that. Take it over, take a breath in.
Beautiful. Back to centre, into your piriformis. So same hand, push the inner knee towards the opposite shoulder and then just gently pull in. You can take that hand down and bring it all the way if you want. Whoa. Take a breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Remember all those ones we were just doing, guys, that feels a bit uncomfortable. Working all through the glue area and a little bit through that kind of, like your QL muscles around your lower back, your TA muscles. So just relax into it. Beautiful, well done. And then just take a lovely, lovely big squeeze. Knees into chest and we'll just do a little bit. Let's do some really nice controlled core exercises. So let's come down. So if you were in bridge, the feet would be close to the bum, but we're not going to do in bridge. We're walking our feet away. So imagine now that lovely tray of drinks. Mine's still water, halfway through tray of drinks. It's nothing really to be um, super happy about, is it, guys? It should be pretty easy. And then just forward and back. Forward and back. If only I could have got my husband to do it with me. And then when you find that position, where your drinks are not tipping forward or they're not tipping into the bum, into the bum, sorry, into the belly button. Find that position, neutral spine. Try really hard, guys, to visualize that little gap underneath the lumbar spine and the rib cage, very compact in and down. Let's take our hands underneath our head, elbows into the, um, well, on the floor actually. And then the muscle that stops you wee mid flow, just draw that in and up about 30%. And we're just going to take a chin to chest and we're going to come up for one. We're going to come up for two. We're going to come up for three and pulse for three. One, two, three. And then lower down, but not quite to the floor. Don't let the ribs come up and away. Let's go again. One, two, three, pulse. One, two, three. Lower back down. And again. One, two, three, pulse. One, two, three. And again, you can always do it with the hands, but sometimes people's necks don't like that position. And lower back down, and again, one, two, three, one, two, three, elbows really wide, four more, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, and again, one, two, three. Try not to bring, I have to remind myself, you really want to hook around like this, but try to keep the elbows wide. Gently down, last one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Well done, gently back to centre. Keep your elbows where they are on the floor. Rip cage in and down, bring the right leg up to tabletop and the left leg. Yeah, and we're just going to take it into single leg. One, you can lift up if you want. Two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Lift a bit higher if you're coming up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one. Well done. Take a little squeeze in again. Woo! And right, I just want to show you one more exercise, guys. Some people just can't get this at all and it bothers their lower back. It's not worth it, it doesn't feel right to you. So you can either go back into one leg stretch or you can go into a legs nice and high, pushing the rib cage down. Start with the lower back on the mat and the tummy really pushed in towards the spine. So imagine you've got something hot underneath your belly button and you're pulling it away from it. 
You can either go into scissor as an arm up. Yeah, this is scissor. You don't have to come as low as me. Or you can try and do a double leg. So draw the tummy in. You don't get there in five before you feel that you're losing connection through the abdominals. So as soon as you feel like the tummy is about to dumb, stop. Yeah. Some people like to put their hands underneath their sacrum and do this. But always listen to your body. I like double leg lows. I don't teach it often because it can pull on people's neck a little bit. And people sometimes don't like it underneath the back. If you can't do it without the belly popping out, there's no point. It does get into the lower tummy though, which is my troublesome area for cesareans. Yeah, oh, single leg, last 10, whatever you're doing. Nine, eight, seven. No, so I corrected my neck then. I could feel it going back a bit. Remember, you can always put a cushion underneath your neck. Three, two, and one. Well done. And then again, big hug in. So always ask yourself, is the prize worth the price? So if something doesn't feel comfortable on the neck, there's always an alternative. Or on the back. And then just take your arms just out, just do a little bit of a supine spine twist, side to side, moving your head slowly in the opposite direction. We did do a prone today, did we? I'll make sure next week guys we do more prone work. And then just gently, we'll just come over on the front. Can you still see me? The sun's like, oh. So just take your arms out, push your pubic bone down into the mat. Draw the belly in, slide the shoulders down a little bit and just lift. This is a little bit of prone work. And then just for the last 10 seconds, bring the elbows into the waist. Hold that position. Put your legs down if you prefer. And lower back down. Then take your arms down by your side. Push the fingertips down towards the feet. Push the pubic bone down. Draw the belly in. And then just lift up. If you can, grab your hands together. Pull your scapulas together. Stretching through the pectoral muscles in the chest. Neck nice and long. And then just gently... Push back, take a beautiful breath in. Beautiful. And then just little cow pose, breath in. And a cat. And a cow. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Back to centre. Tuck the toes. Soften the knees. Walk the hands back to the feet. And gently up. And perfect timing. Just take your time, guys. I'm going to now shoot round the block with my doggy.